Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send multiple letters to different peoples in just a few seconds using mail merge option. Right over here, you can see we have typed a letter of successful initial test result for 10 candidates that have successfully qualified the initial test for an exam. Now, what we need to do, either we can send this letter to multiple candidates through email or we can simply type these letters for all these candidates and then get them printed and then send them through post. Let me show you how we can do that. So here is the list of all those people to whom we want to send these letter of success. This list is named as ID cards and the name of this particular sheet is names. Now based on this data, we want to send a letter of success to each of these persons in this Microsoft Excel sheet. Let me close it. So this is the sheet with the name ID cards. Let me go again to Microsoft Word document. Right over here, you can see we have this option mailings. On the left, we have this option start mail merge. Now you can use all these options like letters, email messages, envelopes, but I'm gonna go to bottom and use this option step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. As you click over it, on the right, you can see we have select document type, letters, email messages, envelopes. Again, the same kind of options are given over here. Since we have to stick with the letters, so I'll choose it and click on next starting document. Now, select starting document, use the current document, start from a template, start from existing document. I'm gonna use this current document, the document within which we are in right now. The next step that we have to do out of the, all these six steps is select recipients. Click over it. Now in the select recipient option, you can see we have these three options, use an existing list, select from Outlook contacts, type a new list, use an existing list. This is the option that we'll use. Simply click on browse. We have kept our document on the desktop. Let's click on ID cards, open, and you can see in the Microsoft Excel, we have actually three sheets and the one that we'll use was with the name names simply click on ok right over here in this window you can either select a few options like these or you can simply select everyone given in the list at the bottom we have a few more options like sort for example you can sort these later based on alphabetical orders you can filter it find duplicates etc i'm not going into the detail of this so i would simply click on ok and now if you come right over here into the insert and merge field you can see we have these options like first name last name email address city and country this is what our microsoft excel document contains as a headers let me show again you can see first name last name email address city and country simply click in front of this dear space go to insert mail merge field let me click on first name again space last name and let me write over here the address of the person to whom the letters will be sent. So again, go over here into the insert merge field, click on first name, space, last name, enter address, go again over here, city, and again press enter and this time we will insert the last field that is country. Now we are almost done. Click on write your letter. Now. The next option is click on preview your letter and there you can see all the names and uh, let me show you the letters that we have if you look over here you can see this is the address this is the city name and this is the country and right over here the letter has been addressed to this particular person if you click on this next record you can see the names of each person with his correspondent address and the letter so we are almost done now over here we have this last option that is finish and merge click over here right from here you can either send this letter through email by clicking on send email messages simply put in your subject line over here and click on ok it would automatically get integrated with your outlook email and be sent over the internet to all of these persons the other option is edit individual documents for example you want to make some amendments to each of these letters you can do it right from here but i'm going to click on print documents click over here let me click on ok and you can see we have microsoft print to pdf if you click on ok all these documents would be printed let me cancel it let's go again over here and let me click on individual documents 
click on OK. You can also choose the number of recipients right from here as well. For example, you want to send it to three people, you can choose two to three. But I have to create the letters for all these people. So I would click on OK. And there we are. Simply look at this. All these letters have been made in no time without any hassles. Now you can simply print them and send them through post. So that was all about this particular video. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.